Hey guys, pretty nice day here in the north today, I tell ya. Not too sure the exact date, but it's coming close to September 1st. What I'm up to today, you say, well, today I was out scouting through the woods here. Uh, what I want to do, I want to make a birch bark moose call. Get ready for the moose rut here in a couple weeks. So what I'm looking for right now, I'm looking for a birch tree. A big enough birch tree where I can take the bark off of to make my moose call. So I'm in a big birch stand here right now. There's all kinds here, so I'm just going to walk around and find the right tree. When I find the perfect tree for a moose call, then I'll take the bark off it and uh, I'll go from there. By the time I'm done, I'll have a damn nice birch bark spruce root moose call, I tell you. So of course, after I take the birch bark off the tree, it, it is a live birch tree. Uh, it does not kill a tree. I'll give you a little example here. You see this is a tree here. I stripped the bark off it quite a few years ago. And you see that tree is still alive and healthy. Still thriving. So, uh, still looking. This one here almost looks pretty good, but I don't know. Let's just have a look. Yeah, it's, it's nice to find one that doesn't have knots in it. Like there's little knots in that. Because you want a nice smooth birch bark, huh? So we'll just keep on uh, keep on looking. Lots of birch trees in this area. There's a big birch stand in here. So I see some big ones over there. We'll just go check them out. Too small that one. That one's about the right size, but it looks a little ratty. We'll just keep hunting. But it has to be the perfect birch tree to make a good moose call. It's got to be a special tree. So I'm looking for that special tree right now. This one up over here don't look too bad. A little small though. Of course I want to find a bigger tree. The bigger the tree, the thicker the bark will be small but you see it's got a nice smooth surface on it that's what I'm looking for a little bit bigger though I think we found the tree we were looking for look at that one there. that one looks nice it's about the right size just about perfect I could probably cut down and take from the bottom I guess looks pretty good guys I think we'll take this one so let's use my knife and make one nice straight cut. Try and make it as straight as possible. Of course, if you had a utility knife, that works good too. Oh yeah, this is a nice one. The bark should be pretty thick on this tree. You just want to cut through the bark. You don't want to cut into the tree because then you could kill it. And just kind of pry it out. Once you get it started, it's just like peeling a banana. A wood chisel would help. You know, if you had a wood chisel, make things a little bit easier. But you know, you could do this with your pocket knife. And you see how I got that started and all. Now it pretty much just peels off. Just very gently, especially up at the top. You know, you could make a, a straight cut all the way around if you wanted to. But if you just very carefully, you could use your hands, just kind of work it off. You could also just use your knife too. You could like skin it if you wanted to. That works good too. What are you doing, Charlie? You're on bear duty. Watch my back, my buddy. Oh, this is a nice one here. It's got good thick bark on it. Very carefully. Let's 
So that's coming off pretty nicely. See, it's got pretty thick bark on it. Nice little tree. There's a couple little spots, see? These little holes are from the little branches. So if you could find one with a nice spot where you want to take your bark from, with no branches at all, it's better. But a little hole like that, it's going to be rolled up anyways. It'll cover it up. So that'll be fine. So now I got most of it wrapped off one side. I'll do the same on this side. The slice and I'll peel it off the other way. This one is peeling really nice, very nice. Little spots I got, you see if there's some bark connected, just cut it with your knife because it might rip it, huh? Spots like this here. Bust it free, huh? See? Daughter. Got one nice chunk of birch bark there. This one turned out really nice. One of the better ones. Peeled nicely. It's got one little hole in it, but that's fine. And uh, there we go. That's what we'll make our moose call with. And of course, it did not kill the tree. So now we got our birch bark. And all we need now to con finish constructing our uh, moose call. Is some spruce root. So I usually find a little smaller trees to get the smaller uh, the smaller roots. And you just dig down and you'll find the roots. And of course this isn't gonna kill a tree either, you know you're just taking a couple of the smaller roots. These are the roots here we want. This is what we'll use to uh, collage our moose call together. Look at that, just like that. So these ones here, these are exactly the roots I was looking for. Like I said, they're really tough, man. They're hard to break, huh? So I'll just cut them off right in the front there with my little pocket knife. There you go, there's one, one spruce root. So we'll take a few more, we'll take all of these ones here. So there we go. We've got enough spruce root here for our moose call. So these, now I'll just soak these in water overnight along with the birch bark. And then uh, we'll carry on from there. So now I'll just soak my birch bark and my roots till tomorrow. And uh, finish construction from there. Let that soak for about 24 hours and you get a real nice form on, on your... Uh, on the birch so it'll be good and plus I gotta peel those roots but we'll do that tomorrow okay our birch bark's been sitting now for about 24 hours soaking overnight so uh, we'll make a nice form here for a moose call so when you roll it up you always you go from the outside in so our the inside will be on the outside because it's got a natural curve in it. I tried flipping it over and keeping the white side out just for looks and stuff, but it didn't work too good, so we'll get rolled this way. Gonna need a little bit of rope and, uh, and a knife.
warm it up, make it look nice too. You just take your rope. The rope just helps hold the form of it when you uh, put your root on it. Of course it comes off later on. It's going to trim up the edge here a little bit. Now the next step, all our roots that uh, we dug up, they got to be peeled. So there's a thin layer on there, just like bark off a tree. I just use my teeth. Just peel them off. Tastes like spruce. So once you get your spruce root peeled, you're gonna end up with a nice little piece of cordage. And this shit is strong, really strong. You know, you could weave this together and you could make rope out of it if you wanted to. I've actually snared a rabbit with spruce root before. You make snares with them, you could do anything with them. It's just a freaking strong, strong piece of, well, root. Okay. So our moose call is ready to be stitched together now, just about. Got all my roots all peeled nicely. It'll dry real good now with the skin off them. So all I'm going to do now, I'm just going to trim my call up. Uh, you know, cut off the end piece. And then I'm going to start stitching. So all I'm going to do, I'm going to go down each seam. And I'm going to drill a hole. Now you could use uh, your pocket knife if you wanted to make your little holes. But I'm going to cheat. I've got a power drill. Makes things a lot quicker and easier, so uh, and a lot nicer too when they're done. Before I just make a little slit with my knife, but when I made a little slit, it would end up with a crack, so it's kind of nicer to have a nice hole drilled in it. So again, I'm gonna st I'll start from the back side here, I'm stitching. I'll stitch all the seams. Okay, so now I'll take my longest root because this is going to be the longest stitch. Start stitching. Water stitched right from the end all the way up to the top. 
top. Now I'm going to go back and uh, I'm going to stitch all the seams all the way around. And I'll probably do that on the back end too. We'll just see. We'll just, uh, we'll just play it by ear. Okay, that's coming along real nicely now. We got the one seam all stitched up all the way around. Now what I'm gonna do on the inside, there's one seam here, this seam here that runs all the way down. I'm gonna stitch that up too because what's gonna happen is when the birch bark dries, that inside part will try and fold in. So if I stitch along the inside seam as well, it'll always stay open. So, uh, I'm just about done guys, give me one hell of a nice moose call. What I did here on the end, I just ran my bark, uh, my root through, and then I just back, I just backed it over and went through again, and this could stay there, you know, that ain't gonna hurt anything. Uh, same on the inside, what's gonna happen is the root is gonna dry up and it'll be hard as hell, and it'll never come out. And of course, when you're done, you soften it up and shape it a little bit more. So one more stitch and then uh, she'll be good. There you go. That's it. Let this baby dry for a week or so, and when the moose start rotting, it'll be ready. So what's gonna happen now, it's gonna dry and it'll all curl in, it'll be nice and tight. One hell of a nice moose call right there, man, the Wild North style. See how I stitched every single seam, all the way up on the inside, around, and also the one main seam in the middle. So. What's going to happen now, this is going to dry and it'll all shrink together and it'll be a good solid moose call. Uh, ready to give her, man. Of course, later on you can always trim around the edges if you want to make it look a little nicer or whatever. Trim it up, tidy it up, paint it, fucking draw a smiley face on it, whatever. Put a little carry handle on it or whatever you choose, but there you go, man. That's a good moose call. The thing about with the birch bark too, it really has an echo to it, you know. It's not like using a piece of cardboard call or a plastic one. There's something about birch bark that is real special, especially to, to get the echo out there, huh? So this, when I call a moose with this, man, it's gonna carry, it'll carry for miles. I cannot wait to call a moose out here this fall with my new moose call, once it's dried up and ready, and uh, harvest it. Okay, guys, get out there and make yourself a moose call because the moose are gonna be rutting here pretty darn soon. Talk to you another day.